Welcome to the Hawaii Association for College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so please be sure to sign up for additional sessions. The presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at strivescan.com slash Hawaii. And now I'd like to turn it over to our presenters. And first up is Temple University Japan campus. Okay, thank you very much. Let me get my presentation up. Hopefully you can see that okay. Hello everyone, my name is Kelly Nuibe. I am the Senior Admissions Counselor at Temple University Japan at campus, TUJ for short. I'm based here in Tokyo, but I'm originally from Hawaii, so aloha kakahiaka to all of you guys. Thank you for joining. For those of you who don't know Temple University, the main campus is in Philadelphia on the east coast of the US. Our second campus is in Rome, Italy, and our third campus is in Tokyo, Japan. It is possible to go to all three campuses. It's possible to also take advantage of any one of our study abroad programs around the world. And yes, it is possible to come to Japan for all four years and earn your US degree in Tokyo. Here are some key points on why students choose TUJ specifically. The first reason is the quality education we provide. We are fully accredited by the Middle States Commission on Higher Education in the US. What does that mean? It means you're being held up to the highest standards of any US education on the mainland or in Hawaii. Uh, because we are American University, we do accept transfer credits, whether they are AP, IB, or college credits. Another reason why students choose us is because of the diversity we bring in. About 40% are Japanese by passport. Uh, a lot of times students tell me, well, I don't want to go to an American university because I'm not going to speak Japanese. That's not true at all. You will have many opportunities. One of the unique things about our school is that our classes are fully integrated. You will be studying alongside Japanese students. They are your classmates. You will be making friends unless you don't want to make friends. That's okay too. Uh, but you know, chances are you're going to have lots of time and chances to talk to them in Japanese. Third reason why students choose us is because of the study options we have. Most popular majors include international business studies, international affairs, art, and communication studies, to name a few. Communication studies is two-track. You can choose between journalism or film production. Fourth reason why students choose us is our affordability. Because we are an American university, we do accept financial aid or GI Bill benefits if I have any veterans and their families here online. We are the only full four-year university in Japan to do that. Of course, we also have merit-based scholarships. If you look at our annual tuition for one year, it's about 15,000 US dollars for one year compared to out-of-state tuition and a public, I'm sorry, a private university on the low end. It is quite more affordable to go out of country than it is to go out of state. Here is that breakdown again of financial aid, GI Bill benefits, and merit-based scholarships. I do recommend you take a look later on for more detail. Uh, one quick note, Brittany here, she is one of our Hawaii students from Kapolei High. She's also one of the very, very few and actually our first Hawaii student to be awarded the Diamond Scholarship, uh, which is one of our most prestigious awards. Here's a rundown on how to apply to TUJ. I do recommend when you have a chance to download that application checklist. It's a good way to see what you need to prepare and hold yourself accountable of what you have submitted or not. And here is the breakdown right here. You have the online application. We do take the common app. We are one of the very few universities in Japan to do so. Uh, just make sure you select the Japan campus because our application process is completely different from the Philadelphia campus. Uh, 
for test scores, if you are a native English speaker, uh, we are now test optional. So you do not have to submit your SAT or ACT ever, unless you want to. Um, if you're a non-native English speaker, then you have TOEFL, IELTS, PTE, or Duolingo. And I, if I have any students who are dual enrolled or are thinking of going to community college first, that's awesome. We do have affiliation agreements with KCC as well as Hawaii Tokai. You'll get to hear from Daryl about Hawaii Tokai in a bit. Um, if you are holding credits from there, the application fee is waived to TUJ. Fifth reason why students choose us is our career prep. We do an excellent job in helping you. Of course, it's your responsibility to go out there and apply those skills. Again, people think they're not going to speak Japanese. That's not true at all. We help students uh, with shu shoku katsudos, you know, which is uh, finding that job in Japan. Um, and of course, we help you with part-time job search and internships. We want you to be able to apply what you're learning in the classroom to outside. If you're looking to connect with students, catch us on social media. This is a great way to see what life is like through their eyes. Our Instagram handle is TU Japan. We also have very special webinars uh, going on every time. Uh, I realize March 15th has passed. Don't worry, I understand. Uh, but you can still register and access the recording. Tea Time, Let's Talk Money. That's our student ambassadors and student government president talking about how they save money as well as how they spend money, uh, which is very important to note. I know people think Tokyo is very expensive, but it's all a matter of perspective, right? How much do you guys pay for a plate lunch back home in Hawaii? Uh, it's about the same as what you would pay in Tokyo. And of course, you can find cheaper places. You just got to know where those hole in the wall places are, right? Uh, we are having a sample lesson tomorrow, uh, and it's going to be held by our Associate Dean of Academic Affairs, George Miller. He'll be talking about journalism. If you have any questions, you can contact me directly, kelly.nuibe at tuj.temple.edu. Uh, my inbox accepts emails 24-7. Of course, I can't reply right away, but I will definitely do when I can. Uh, I'm more than happy to, to catch you and your family on Zoom as well. So thank you. And we'll be waiting for you in Japan. Excellent. Thanks, Kelly. And next up is uh, Hawaii Tokai International College. All right, let me get my screen set up here. One second. Okay. Sorry. All right, hi everybody, I'm Daryl Kicker from Hawaii Tokai International College. Uh, we are located in Kapolei, Hawaii. Uh, it was great to hear from Kelly. Uh, Temple University is one of our partner schools and we send a lot of students to Temple University. Hawaii Tokai is affiliated with the Tokai University system in Japan. I often say I think we're probably the most unique college in Hawaii, maybe in the whole United States, because we are affiliated with affiliated with the Japanese university system, and we have a lot of students from Japan. Um, so let me talk about some of the reasons that we think you should consider um, Hawaii Tokai International College. First is our really small size, our small classes, and the personalized attention you will receive here. Uh, we offer an incredibly intercultural learning environment. There are more international students on our campus than U.S. students. So it's almost like studying abroad without ever leaving Hawaii. Um, you have the opportunity to study abroad, however, in Japan or Korea or China. You can earn your AA degree in only 15 months. It's a very fast path to an uh, AA degree and uh, our convenient location and on campus housing is available. So for the small size, uh, we have only about 130 students right now. Uh, we're a little bit down in enrollment and we're hoping to grow to about 250 students. So we've, we're always gonna be a small school, even if we get as big as we wanna get. The largest class is typically 18 students. The average class size is around 11 or 12 students. That's how small we are. So you really get to know your teachers, you really get to know your classmates and they know you. And you get a lot of support, which helps you to succeed. 
our intercultural learning environment, as I mentioned, the majority of our students are from Japan, followed by students from the US. Uh, we've had other countries represented here recently. You really have a chance to increase your worldview, to expand you know, your horizons, to see things in new ways. We talk about global citizenship at Hawaii Tokai. You really can become a global citizen, we think, here at our campus. Uh, our students have the chance to study abroad in either Japan or Korea or China. And these are our partner schools. Uh, Tokai University, the main campus in Kanagawa Prefecture is our partner in Japan. And that's where it's located, uh, just Southwest of Tokyo and Yokohama. Our partner in Korea is Hanyang University. Uh, it's in Seoul, Korea, the capital city. And then in China, our, our partner school is called Shenzhen University. It's located in the Southeast part of China. Um, and it, ooh, sorry, one second. And it's located there in the Southeast part, close to Guangzhou and close to Hong Kong. Okay, um, at, at Hawaii Tokai, our students earn an Associate of Arts degree, uh, but you can choose various academic tracks. Peace Studies is one of the tracks, Hospitality and Tourism, East Asian Studies, and Business, Business Foundation. Um, so you don't really pick a major here at Hawaii Tokai. You'll get a degree in liberal arts, but you can specialize in one of these areas if you would like. And then of course, our convenient location. If you're from Hawaii, we're located in Kapolei on the west side. Uh, Kapolei is a growing city, has pretty much everything you would want uh, here. And you can always get to Honolulu and Waikiki if you want. Uh, we do have a dormitory on campus, which is not that common for a junior college, a two-year college, but you can live on campus and experience campus life if you would like. Uh, the bonus reason to come to Hawaii Tokai is our, is our merit scholarships. Um, we offer two types of merit scholarships for high school students, US high school students. If your GPA is 3.0 or higher when you graduate, you automatically qualify for a scholarship. Uh, that's gonna be either $1,000 or if you have a GPA of 3.5 or above, $1,800. That's 50% of your tuition, your first term at Hawaii Tokai. And then you can keep earning scholarships as a Hawaii Tokai student uh, by maintaining a GPA of 3.5 or above. That's called our Global Citizen Scholarship. We don't offer federal financial aid here. Our size is so small. Uh, it's just not cost effective for us, but we do have these really nice merit scholarships and we do have GI Bill benefits if you're uh, from a military family or in the military. This is a quick look at our tuition and fees. $3,600 is what US citizens pay. It's a 650 automatic scholarship for US citizens and permanent residents off of our 4250 tuition. Uh, two fees are 265 every term. Uh, if you live on campus, we have double rooms and quad rooms and then a meal plan is typically $800 uh, every quarter. Just a few pictures of our campus. We'd love to share more. Um, you can put questions in the chat box at any time if you would like. My colleague Lauren is here and uh, she's gonna be answering questions if you have them. You can leave your contact information by scanning that QR code. Uh, and then you can always reach us online uh, or email or Facebook. And uh, yeah, the applications online would be happy to to receive your application if you're interested in applying. Uh, but yeah, we'll look forward to following up and sending you more information about um, Hawaii Tokai. And uh, we'd love to welcome you guys to our campus. Thank you very much. Great, thank you, Daryl. And our next presentation is from Hiram College. Hi, everyone. I will get my screen started. Can you guys see it? Yes, yes, we can. Okay, great. Hi. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Elizabeth Hammond. I'm an admissions counselor here at Hiram College. Um, I am mostly in charge of recruiting students from Hawaii, as well as our international students. So a little bit about Hiram College. We are located in uh, northeastern part of Ohio, so close to Cleveland. Um, and another big town is Akron, if you've heard of it. Uh, so it's, our school is kind of located in a sweet spot between a, a couple of cities. Um, so. Oh my goodness. 
All right, great. So Hiram is a very small liberal arts college um, and our class size is about 13 to one. Student population is a thousand um, in, in total. So if you're looking for a small school where you, know, you get the one-on-one -on -one personal touch, um, Hiram will be a good choice for you. If you're looking for a place where you can sit in the back of the classroom and you know, not get called on, Hiram will not be the right place for you um, because the classes are really small uh, and our classes are discussion-based classes, um, not a uh, lecture kind of way. Um, the professors here are always finding, um, I, I always say, smart ways to uh, have their classes. Sometimes it takes students hiking, um, students have been invited to professors' homes um, to have dinner for extra credit. So many um, intelligent, brilliant ways of you know, teaching our students. Uh, Hiram also has an interesting semester system called the 12, um, the Hiram plan. It's where our semester is split into three different parts, 12 weeks, one week break, and then come back for three weeks. Uh, a cool thing about a three week session is that's when most of our students use um, to do their study abroad, study away, um, their internships, um, their guided researches. Um, it's basically the part of the semester where you get to do something real quick to finish the semester. The benefits of this is that you are not starting the semester and ending with, let's say, four classes and ending with it. So, which means you don't have to write the four um, final exams that you begin with. Um, another cool thing is uh, we offer free summer, um, two free summer classes every year. Uh, and the goal is to help our students graduate on time to be able to finish in time. Uh, our tech and trek program is also very popular. Uh, every freshman is given an iPad Pro with a keyboard case and an Apple pencil and a pair of hiking boots. Uh, the hiking boots is just so students can put that down, the iPad down uh, and take a hike um, on one of the many trails we have on campus. Our tuition for, um, for a private uh, liberal arts college is quite reduced. At the moment, it's reduced to 30%. Um, and we, we accept financial aid and also offer merit-based scholarship once you apply. There is no special application needed for the merit-based scholarship. Um, just your application and the GP is all we use to make that decision. So how do you apply to Hiram? We have um, our online application on our website. Um, we also accept the common app and then we will ask for your transcript. Those are the only things that you need, just your application uh, and the transcript. Uh, because we use your GPA to make all the decision. Hiram is um, test blind. We've been test blind for a while. Our writing samples are also not required. They are optional, just like the test scores. If you have them, we'll take them. If you don't give it to us, we won't say anything about it. So uh, oh. here are a couple of classes that, um, I mean, majors that we offer here on our campus that are very popular, integrated. Exercise science, uh, most students go into this to, you know, end up in either physical therapy or uh, work with, you know, students, uh, athletes as well. Um, our engineering program is a dual degree program with Washington University in St. Louis and Case Western Reserve. Our nursing program is also direct entry once you have all the necessary um, you know, GP and all that stuff. So you can find, take down my email address, my phone number and call me at any point, any time. Um, and let's get you sorted out with Hiram. Thank you. Great, thank you so much, Elizabeth. And next up is Seattle University. We're not hearing you, I don't think.
Are you all hearing me now? Yes. yes. Sorry That's about better. that, folks. Okay, back in business, sorry about that. Um, my name is James Miller. I'm Associate Vice President and Dean of Admissions at, here at Seattle University. And I'm really pleased to be joined by my colleague, J.R. Robago, Assistant Director of Admissions uh, for Events. Uh, we are um, together, your team uh, on, in Hawaii. I work with students from the island of Oahu and my colleague, J.R. Uh, works with students from the neighbor islands. Um, I am uh, going to just talk briefly today um, about Seattle U and some of the real advantages uh, that students uh, from Hawaii and, and from around the world experience uh, taking advantage of what we have to offer. As you can tell by our name, we're located uh, in the city of Seattle. We're located between two awesome neighborhoods, the Central District, uh, as well as um, the Central District, as well as uh, the uh, Capitol Hill neighborhood. Um, the university. Uh, is comprised of 4,700 students um, and, and, and features a small classroom environment with an average class size of 18. Uh, with 4,700 undergraduates, one of the things that students really appreciate uh, is that you have a community that's small enough where people will know your name. Uh, with that average class size of 18, you'll have experiences in the classroom uh, that make you feel like your education is personalized to you. But at the same time, we're large enough that we feature um, a wide variety of students from around ju not just the United States, but the world. About 5% of our entering class every year is made up of students uh, from Hawaii. And um, we've got students uh, coming to us from uh, around the world as well with about 10% of our undergraduates being enrolled uh, from countries outside the United States. About 60% of our students come from outside the state of Washington. Seattle University's academic programs break down into four different academic colleges. Uh, we have a College of Arts and Sciences, which is um, our largest college in terms of majors offered, which features amazing academic programs in the social sciences, programs like psychology and sociology, uh, the arts, uh, like fine art, uh, design, um, photography, painting, drawing, music, uh, we also offer humanities programs uh, in English and other world languages. Uh, inside of our Alvar School of Business Economics, we feature two programs, accounting and finance, that are ranked in US News and World Report's top 30 for undergraduate education in business, uh, as well as a number of other programs uh, that are excellent that will prepare you for a great career in business or economics. Uh, we offer um, an incredible school of nursing, one of the very best in the Western United States. Our, B, our Bachelor's of Science in Nursing program for French freshman entry is a very competitive program uh, and one of the very best uh, in the West, as I said. Um, it features a four-year cohort-based experience uh, and opportunities uh, to do uh, multiple clinical opportunities and rotations. Um, our, uh, our final um, program is uh, our College of Science and Engineering. Uh, Science and Engineering is program home to all of our programs in biology, chemistry, mathematics, as well as excellent ABET accredited programs in uh, several engineering disciplines, including mechanical, electrical and computer engineering and civil engineering. Uh, our engineering programs are also ranked in US News and World Report's top 30 for undergraduate education in engineering. The Seattle U experience is not just in the classroom. Uh, we require essentially all of our first and second year students to live on campus, so our campus community is primarily residential. Uh, with a residential community like ours, one of the really great opportunities is to experience incredible student life uh, throughout your uh, time on campus. Uh, when you're living uh, on campus with us, uh, you will have access uh, to all kinds of activities, student clubs and organizations, uh, Division I athletics. Uh, we compete in the, uh, in the uh, Western Athletic Conference, the WAC, against uh, many awesome athletic programs around the Western U.S. Um, the Seattle U experience is also very much about the city of Seattle. 
uh, an incredible city to live, uh, study, and then ultimately, if you choose to stay, uh, go on to work and have an incredible career. Not only is the city a fun place to hang out, uh, but it's also uh, it also features one of the one of America's best and most vibrant economies. Great access uh, to internship opportunities, career opportunities, um, and and ultimately, again, uh, a place to really have experiences that are not just about uh, you know being in a city, but also that will really help uh, to further your formation in higher education and ultimately as you move on to career. The last thing I'll mention about Seattle University uh, is that we are uniquely committed to sustainability and environmental justice as a campus community. We have several academic programs devoted to in the environment, environmental studies or environmental justice. Uh, and we also feature a campus community that is one of the most sustainably run uh, in the United States. Uh, we're annually on Sierra Club's top 20 list of cool schools for the environment. This really briefly, uh, Seattle U's admissions process for freshman students uh, does feature a holistic review process. You can see some of our required elements here, uh, including the transcript, GPA, et cetera. We are optional in terms of testing, so we will not require SAT or ACT scores for the upcoming cycle. Finally, I wanted to sh share briefly uh, costs and financial aid opportunities. Uh, Seattle U's annual tuition, room and board, books and supplies, come out to around $65,000 for the year. But you can see we do have substantial uh, merit-based scholarship opportunities, uh, our amazing Sullivan Leadership Award. Uh, and then essentially our average student ends up with a financial aid package that covers about half the cost. I just wanna close uh, by giving you my, my and my colleagues information and thank you for your time. Uh, enjoy the rest of the session. Great, thank you so much. Our next presentation is from Emerson College. Thanks so much. Let me just share my screen here for everybody. Hopefully everyone can see that just fine. Um, so my name is Amy Mitchell. I'm the Senior Associate Director of Admission for Emerson College. Um, and I appreciate you all taking the time to learn a little bit more. I certainly miss being there in person. I'm hopeful I can see everybody in person again um, soon. So. Let's just get started and learn a little bit more about Emerson. Emerson is right in the heart of Boston. So we are in a pretty incredible location in Boston. We are directly across the street from the Boston Commons, which is sort of the biggest green space in Boston. I call it kind of like Central Park of Boston area. Um, it houses the Botanical Gardens. Shakespeare in the Park happens every summer. It's just a pretty incredible location. There's a swan pond where swans nest and have babies every year, and you can ride these boats around it. Um, and then our actual campus directly across from there is in the heart of the theater district. I'm virtually sitting in one of Emerson's theaters now. Um, we have three theater spaces that were built in the late um, 1800s, early 1900s that we've revamped back to historical standards. So we are in kind of a the, the fast paced tourist district in Boston. And I always say that we're a little bit of a best of both worlds campus because although we are um, a urban campus, it is a really small urban campus. We have about 12 buildings and a two block walking radius. So students have a very true campus feel while still getting to live in the city. We're on the smaller side. Um, we're about 3,800 students, undergrad students. So I always say we're sort of the big size si side of small. Um, you're still meeting some unfamiliar people, but for the most part, you know most people that you're running into. Smaller class sizes as well with the 13 to one student to faculty ratio. It's really important to us that you're able to be um, participatory in those classes, that, they're act that you're able to be active and engaged and that smaller size really helps with that. Um, we also have students coming from all across the world. Um, on average, we've probably have over uh, maybe about a dozen that are coming just from Hawaii alone, just to give you an idea. Um, California is probably our next most popular area where we're getting students from, but we have international students, students coming literally from everywhere in the world. So you'll get a real diverse sense of voices in those classroom experiences. And as a part of our campus, we have five residence centers, some beautiful housing options for students, many of them that overlook the Boston Commons. Um, so our students are, are very happy with those spaces. We are a school that's deeply committed to the liberal arts 
sense, we believe that it's really crucial for students to be educated as kind of entire human beings, and that's an important part of the process. And so because of that, all students will take a sort of foundations year where they're focused on writing, speech, all of those communications aspects. And then from there, they can kind of choose a variety of different areas within those liberal arts classes that add to what they want to study. If students have C's or better in all of their high school math classes, we will waive our quantitative reasoning requirement, with this, which is our math requirement. And if a student has up to three levels of a foreign language, we'll also waive that requirement as well. We break our education up across two schools, our School of Communications and our School of Arts. Um, as you can see, we have a pretty wide variety of opportunities in our School of Communications. We're incredibly well known for our business program, everything under the sun in traditional communications, including things like sports broadcasting and political communications. Well, we're listed at, uh, consistently as the top journalism school in the country, very strong in marketing as well. We do a number of these uh, global programs as well, where students will actually spend two years of their education studying abroad. Um, and we have opportunities for students in Australia and Switzerland where they can either study business of creative enterprises, which is our business program, an arts based business program, or international and political communications. The other kind of side of our education is our School of Arts. We are um, the only school in the country where you can get a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Comedic Arts, very strong comedy program taught by a pretty well known comedy sitcom writer. Um, we are obviously very well known in the performing arts and theater, musical theater, acting, anything along that lines as well. Um, we're in the top 10 film schools in the country, so that's an area that students definitely know us for is our film program and a pretty wide variety of options within that film program. Very strong also in anything in creative writing and literature and publishing. Um, and then we do have a global program in the film program, which allows students to actually graduate in three years and spend three academic years studying at Paris College of Art. So a number of really unique opportunities there as well. Um, we also have a couple of different liberal arts opportunities where students are able to combine liberal arts along with an interdisciplinary degree. So essentially ways for students to be able to build their own majors. Um, and that's important to us as so many of our students are multifaceted and multi-talented. These are a little bit about our global programs. You can uh, do a little bit more uh, research into these. These are something you would want to apply to as a freshman um, so that you're admitted to those programs specifically. And you kind of work with this smaller cohort of about 25 students throughout your education. Um, we have a pretty wide range of minors, um, all sorts of unique minors, everything from political polling to podcasting to esports to kind of everything in between. Um, and we do actually have two other campuses, which a lot of students don't realize. We actually own a campus in the heart of Hollywood where students can spend a semester studying there and doing a pretty intense internship. Many students will get a job offer directly from that, in, in particular our film students. And then we also own our own medieval castle in the Netherlands. So students, it's actually a true castle. Students can study there starting the sophomore year for a semester, live in the Netherlands, live in the castle, take classes and then travel as well. We have a pretty wide variety of activities and options for students to be involved in. We are D3 in sports. We are also, we have a number of different internships. Um, Boston is a pretty incredible city to study because of the location that it's in. Um, we do think it's really important that students are getting help with their cost of education. We do require students complete the FAFSA as well as the CSS profile. We automatically review all of our students for their scholarships as well. And I think my time is almost up. So just some deadlines to keep in mind. We are a common app school and we are test optional as well. Um, sorry, moved through really fast because my time's up. And then I also popped my email in the chat as well. So thank you all. Go ahead and start my share. Thank you, Amy. Yeah. Um, and so that concludes our presentations for this session. Um, our, our sixth college, Macquarie uh, University, was not able to make it. Um, so we're going to move on to some Q&A. I'll invite all of our presenters to come back on camera and respond to this question. What advice would you give someone going through the college search process? And we will, uh, I'll ask them to respond in the same order that they presented. Uh, so back to Temple. Okay, thank you. So for Temple University Japan campus, my advice is for you to start your research early, make your portfolio, write down all of your deadlines. One thing to note, Japan's a day ahead. Uh, we are a receive by date, right? So that changes things a lot. So if, if tomorrow's the deadline, then you should have applied a month ago, right? Um, the same goes for any university, make sure you know their deadlines. I guess my advice would be to don't stress out. There are so many good colleges out there 
And I know you sometimes set your heart on one school, but really, I mean, look at all these great schools that are here today and you've got lots of choices. So enjoy the search. Don't feel too stressed about it because wherever you land, you're gonna make it what you want you know, to make it. So um, yeah, I know you guys are gonna uh, find a great school and a great fit, thanks. Well, my advice would be create an email, um, your name dot scholarship at yahoo.com and use that to search for scholarships. Um, do not use your personal email. You will hate your email after that. Um, go out there and search for scholarship. I've heard of scholarships for left-handed people, blonde, blue-eyed scholarships for everything. It's free money. So create a special email. Do not use your email. Hi everyone, I'm the other rep from Seattle University. Um, so my advice for you all would be to enjoy the process and make sure you take breaks uh, and just remember that you're still a senior in high school and you wanna enjoy your time. So take time for yourself and do that uh, self-care. All right, this is always a tough one when you're last because everybody takes all your great, the, the advice you were gonna give. Um, but I, I think that for me, I, as acceptance letters start coming in and students start looking at all of the opportunities available to them, um, one of the things they tend to do is start getting all this advice from all everybody, family, counselors, friends. Oh, don't pick that one. Oh, you should pick that one. Ultimately, you really need to listen to your heart and follow your gut. And so when you start getting some of those acceptance letters, give yourself a little bit of time to live with them and before you start kind of sharing with everybody the ideas and places that you're thinking about so that you can kind of tap in to what you really think. Ultimately, you're the one going to college. You're the one taking advantage of the experience. So it should be your decision. So listen to yourself, listen to your gut. Don't, you know, get, get sidetracked by a flashy name. Go to what seems like the right fit for you. Great. Thank you all. Uh, next question is, what is your favorite event or tradition on campus? So that's really hard for us to choose, uh, but I'll say that um, what's been very popular with students this year, especially, is the free food events we give up. Uh, so if you say free, people come flocking over, right? Uh, so our dean uh, likes to give away free donuts, free coffee, uh, free Subway sandwiches. I am getting really hungry right now. Um, but it's a good way to bring the community together and that's your chance to really uh, see everybody uh, and make friends and also connect with staff and our Dean. Our Dean loves connecting with the students. And of course, once you step off campus, you're in Tokyo. So that's another good benefit. Um, here at Hawaii Tokai, we're on a quarter system. So each quarter is about 10 weeks long. And that's why you can graduate so quickly with your AA degree, you're earning semester credits. So every quarter, um, I guess what I think the students would say every quarter we have a, a barbecue, a big campus wide barbecue, and the faculty and staff cook all the food. The students usually divide up into athletic teams and they compete in all these kind of fun games. And then the winners get to eat first, you know, <laughs> in the barbecue. But it's awesome food and, uh, and a great time and everybody has a, a really good time. Thanks. A really popular event here is the Intercultural Forum. Um, so it's basically like a, an international fair, food bazaar. It's all sorts of things put together. There's performances um, and it's put together by our international students. So there's all you can eat food from different parts of the world. There is a fashion show. There is, you know, performances and all sorts of things. Uh, that's a very popular event here on campus. So I'm, um, for Seattle University, I'm also an alumni. And so I'm a little biased with my favorite event or tradition on campus. Uh, and those will have to be um, the annual uh, luau brought to you by the Hui Onani Hawaii Club, uh, as well as then the, the Barrio Fiesta for United Filipino Club. And so as a student performing in front of a huge ballroom of 500 people, that was an amazing experience and also uh, be able to connect with my not colleagues but classmates and fellow club members as well 
So we, I, I feel like I'm the only one not talking about food, but I am excited about all this food that everyone's talking about. Um, probably our most well-known campus tradition is also one of the most unique. It is um, our students host their own uh, award show. So it is called the Evie Awards. We could not obviously use the Emmy Awards for obvious reasons, um, but it runs just like the Emmys or the Oscars. It's in one of our beautiful theaters. Students get completely dressed up. They walk a purple carpet. Um, we have hosts, they have skits, and they win awards in different areas in their majors for projects that they've worked on. It is the largest multi-camera um, student award show anywhere in the entire world. So it's something really special that our students get to take advantage of. Excellent. Well, thank you all. Um, that takes us just about to the end of our session. Um, and so I want to say thank you to our presenters for all the information that you shared and thank you to our audience for for joining us um, after you close this window a very quick four question survey will appear uh, we do appreciate your feedback please do sign up for additional sessions um, that are happening as part of this college fair and uh, a recording of this session and others will be available um, in about a week at strivescan.com Hawaii so again, thank you all and enjoy the rest of your days.